Okay, so the Miami Open draw for the men has just come out, and there are some interesting matches in the first rounds, especially in the fourth round and beyond. Of course, the quarterfinals and that are going to be fun, but yeah, there are some interesting clashes. Let's go have a look at who's not going to be playing, though, because there are some big names that have pulled out. Okay, so the withdrawal list. We have Milos Raonic. He's pulled out. Karatev, he's also pulled out. McDonald won't be playing this one either. Novak Djokovic, biggest name to pull out of this event. And Stan Wawrinka will also be missing from this tournament. Uh, Djokovic and Wawrinka, I think, are focusing more on clay court tennis, so that's why they won't be featured this year. All right, top of the draw, we've got 32 seeds in this one, and all 32 seeds get a bye in the first round. Carlos Elkaraz is the number one seed, gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on either Vukic or Bayana in the second round. Then you got Dusan Lajevic taking on Gael Monfils. Winner plays the number 32 seed, Choric, in the second round. So Monfils, Choric, winner plays Alcaraz. Could be the combination of matches that we get. Then you've got 23rd seed, Musetti. Gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on either Sefulin or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Landa Lucci taking on Manar. Winner of that will take on the number 16 seed, Shelton, in the second round. Shelton Alcaraz, fourth round. Love that. Love that. Uh, there are some more good players in this section, though. Of course, we're going to be watching Elkridge. You've got Shelton in there as well. Uh, Chorich and Musetti, they can you know, they can have good weeks. Uh, Monfils, though, he is definitely a danger player after what happened last week. Did really well in Indian Wells. And uh, Sefulin also shouldn't be overlooked in this section. So it is a little bit awkward there for Alcaraz. Okay, next section of the draw, we've got Grigor Dimitrov, number 11 seed. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Tabillo or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Rusivori versus Hampton. Winner of that will take on the number 19 seed, Manorino, in the second round. Then you've got the number 28 seed, Corda. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualifiers going at it. Then you've got Gallen taking on Shevchenko. Winner of that will take on the number 8 seed, Hercatch, in the second round. So Hercatch Corda. Could be a third round. You could be getting uh, Dimitrov and Hercatch playing in a fourth round. Winner plays Elkara. So again, just awkward mate, uh, matches. Uh, of course, you got to watch out for Hercatch. Won this tournament a couple years ago. You got to watch out for Dimitrov. He's been getting. Uh, he's been having some really good uh, form the last six months. Also, Corda. If he can come good and serve big, maybe the conditions might suit his game. So definitely one to watch as well. Uh, and Rusavori, as an unseated player, definitely a, an awkward unseated player there for that section okay next section of the draw we got Zverev the number four seed gets a buy in the first round he'll take on either Ojeli Asim or a qualifier in the second round then you got Sinego taking on Evans winner of that will take on the number 31 seed Eubanks in the second round then you got the 20th seed Sarundalo who did well here a couple years ago gets a buy in the first round he'll take on either Ovna or Nishikori who's a wild card at this event coming in for the first time in a long time after injury delays then you've got Jared taking on a qualifier winner of that would take on the number 15 seed Hashinov in the second round so again awkward kind of as Zverev you know FAA second round Eubanks did well here last year awkward as well Hashinov is always tough Sarundalo has been good here before so yeah Zverev's got a Got a bit of an awkward draw as well, uh, along with Alcaraz. I mean, the, the top section of the draw for the big names, not straightforward. Next section of the draw, you've got Alex Diminor, the number nine seed. Gets by in the first round. He'll take on either Muller or Quan in the second round. Then you've got Old Mayer taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 24 seed, Struff, in the second round. Then you've got the number 26 seed, Lehechka, getting a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Poprin or Diaz Acosta in the second. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Marajan. Winner of that will take on the number 6 seed, Holger Runa, in the second round. This section of the draw is the toughest. I mean, you've got Dimonor, you've got Runa, you've got Lehechka, of course, who's played well in recent times. Also, Struff shouldn't be overlooked as the number 24 seed there. He has a big game, and maybe that will suit in Miami, but uh, very, very very interesting section, of course. The Zverev section and the Runa section will take on the Elkris section. So we could be getting Elkris versus Zverev in a semi-final. We could be getting Elkris versus Runa in a semi-final. Maybe Elkris versus Demonor. If you want to go with something a little different. Or if you don't think it's going to be Elkris, maybe you get Zverev versus Hercatch in the semi. Or maybe it's Zverev versus Shelton if you want to go with something even more outside the box. Or maybe even Zverev Dimitrov, something like that. Very interesting combinations. And there it's not as easy as it seems on that section. Okay, bottom half of the draw now we've got... But Rude, number seven C gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Kotov or Van Aish in the second round. Then you've got Kecmanovic versus Zong. Winner of that will take on the 27th seed, Fakina, in the second round. Then you've got the number 22 seed, Jarry. He will take on either Draper or Daniel in the second round. Then you've got Thompson taking on Borges. Winner of that will take on the number 12 seed, Fritz, in the second round. And again, pretty stacked. I mean, these, these little sections of the draw where it's just sort of, you know, there's a lot of interesting names there. You know, you've got Rude, who's been good here before, made a final. You've got Fritz, 
He's playing at home, you know, always dangerous. You've got Fakina, who could be awkward. Jarry can be good. And then some of the unseated players here, you've got Draper, who is definitely uh, can be a threat if his body holds up. Again, just awkward for the uh, for the big names. Next section of the draw, you've got the number 14 seed on Bear. He gets by in the first round. He'll take on either Hitchcarter or Van Der Zanschel in the second round. Then you've got Giron versus Kopfer. Winner of that will take on the number 18 seed, Baez, in the second round. Then you've got the 30th seed, Nori. He'll take on either a qualifier or Kaboli in the second round. Then you've got Purcell taking on Fucevic. Winner of that will take on the number three seed, Medvedev, in the second round. So, Medvedev, Umber, fourth round. That's awkward, especially because Umber's been in good form. Medvedev made the final last week. That could be a, a very tough matchup. You've got to watch out for Medvedev. Got to watch out for Umber. Uh, Nori, of course, got to watch out for him. He can throw up some surprises and... Baez has been good on clay, so we'll see whether or not that translates. Uh, so definitely got to watch out for the seeds there in uh, in this section. All right, now we go to the bottom sections of the draw. You've got number five seed, Rublev. He gets by in the first round. He'll take on either Mahatch or Blanche in the second round. Then you've got Murray Berrettini, one of the best first rounds, if not the best first round of the draw. Winner of that will take on the number 29 seed, Echeverry. In the second round. Then you got Bublik, the number 17 seed. He'll take on either Feast or Inaudi in the second round. Then you got Tadiri taking on Shapovalov. Winner of that will take on the number 10 seed, City Pass, in the second round. This this section is is rough. You've got Rublev, you've got City Pass, you've got Bublik. Bublik's been playing well. Rublev, City Pass both losing in upsets last week. Shapovalov's in this section. Obviously, Andy Murray is awkward. Always. And Berrettini also coming back from. Injury could be an awkward opponent. So this section might be the most stacked section of the draw. And then the bottom section of the draw, we've got number 13 seed, Paul. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Dam or Zong in the second round. Then you've got O'Connell taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 21 seed, Tiafo in the second round. Then you've got the number 25 seed, Griegspor. He'll take on either Mickelson or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got Cashin versus a qualifier. Winner of that. We'll take on the number two seed, Sinner, in the second round. And I know I've said it pretty much every time, but again, awkward for Sinner. There are awkward matches. You know, Paul made the semis last week. Probably should have made the final in Indian Wells. He could be a fourth-round opponent for Sinner. So you've got to watch out for Sinner. You've got to watch out for Paul. You've got to watch out for Tiafo as well, who we know can catch fire in America. And, of course, this half of the draw, this quarter of the draw, the Sinner quarter will take on the Medvedev quarter, so we could be getting Medvedev taking on... Uh, Sinner taking on Medvedev. We could be getting Sinner taking on, uh, if we want to go something different, maybe Rude. If Medvedev doesn't make it that far, if you want to go even more outside the box, maybe Sinner versus Fritz or Sinner versus Umber could be a matchup. Or if you don't think Sinner's going to make it, you could go with Medvedev taking on Pass, Medvedev taking on Rublev. Uh, you could even go Medvedev versus Paul, which was a rematch of what we saw last uh, week in India Wells. And it was a very close matchup as well. So very, very fun draw for this one. And very evenly spread. It, feel, it doesn't feel like anyone's got like the worst draw, but everyone has their awkward opponents. Like there's no easy draw, really. But let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who do you think is going to win in Miami? This is uh, going to be a really fun tournament. The last hardcore event until I think after Wimbledon. Last chance for the hardcore specialists like Medvedev to win this trophy. And he is the defending champion, Medvedev, and he did beat Sinner in the finals. So uh, we might get that rematch earlier than we think, but that is the draw for Miami. And uh, we've got some interesting matchups in the first couple of rounds.